Tonight, we're learning Spectrum Stadium is starting to crumble. A new report reveals the metal structure of the stadium is experiencing significant levels of corrosion and it could cost millions to fix. News 6 investigator Mike DeForest is live at UCF tonight. And Mike, it's going to be a busy weekend there on campus with the annual Spirit Splash and the football game. Is that stadium safe? University officials insist Spectrum Stadium here is perfectly safe for this weekend's big homecoming game against East Carolina. Now, some of the most severe corrosion was repaired before the football season began, but engineers say there are still many problems here. When UCF's football stadium opened a decade ago, it was nicknamed the trampoline because of the way the bleachers bounced. Welcome to the trampoline, baby! The seats were later reinforced, but now, 10 years later, even more serious work appears necessary. In a new report commissioned by UCF over the summer, engineers determined some areas of the stadium presented immediate life safety concerns. The reason? Widespread corrosion on the structure's steel framing. According to engineers, these photos show significant levels of rust and in some cases, complete loss of steel. In other places, fireproofing on the beams has been eaten away. The report identified more than a thousand corrosion hotspots throughout the stadium. UCF officials say they immediately began making repairs to the most critical areas to ensure the safety of spectators. But many other parts of Spectrum Stadium will need attention in the next few years at a cost of about $14 million. According to the report, the protective coating on the steel beams was not properly installed when the stadium was built. But engineers also believe the use of bleach to clean the stadium accelerated the corrosion. Now, last month, UCF filed a lawsuit against the architects and contractors who built Spectrum Stadium claiming construction defects. Uh, they're hoping to get some money to recoup the cost of the repairs, repairs that will cost about one quarter of what it did to build this stadium 10 years ago. Reporting live at UCF, Mike DeForest, News 6. Oh, my goodness. All right, Mike, thank you for that live report.